Hey guys, what's up? It's Jimmy, and can you guess what I do multiple times a day? Type. I type every day. It's part of my job, it's part of my life, and I like to think I'm pretty good at it. So, why not put my typing skills to the test with Pokemon Typing Adventure? A real game that exists. It's in my hands. <laughs> The American dream is real, guys. Just believe in yourself. Typing games are kind of a thing, or at least were kind of a thing a long time ago. We had some real classics, like Mario Teaches Typing, and of course, my queen, the bad bitch herself, Mavis Beacon. Which, by the way, guys, did you know that she's not a real person? Because I didn't, and I'm very confused. Nowadays, though, there just aren't that many games like these being made anymore, because they're just not necessary. But despite that, Pokemon decided to just say fuck it and put out their own typing game anyway. It was only released in Japan, Europe, and Australia, and it came with this Nintendo wireless keyboard, which was, you know, <laughs> Little too much money for my budget, but that's fine. Now, obviously, the weird thing here is that it's for the DS, not a computer, which I would imagine more people have than a DS. And also, this was the only game I was able to find that the keyboard actually works with. Like, why would they make a whole keyboard for just one game? Is that's why would they do that? It's a decision that I certainly question, but I am absolutely not opposed to because that means. I get to make fun of it on the internet, and that is always fun for me. Learn with Pokemon! Typing Adventure! I'm so excited. When you start up the game, you meet this girl who addresses you as you there with the keyboard. And not only is that specific, but why is she only pointing out the keyboard? Is there not a device or something with it? Like, am I just standing around with nothing but a keyboard? The girl's name is Paige Down, because of course it is. And as Pokemon games tend to go, she asks if I'm a boy or a girl. Now the girl is really cute looking and I'm all for being cute, but I think the boy is wearing two hats at once and that spells dope as hell. So we're going with him. And after picking my character, I was going to name him, but they just didn't ask for my name. We just moved on. So I guess I'm just guy that types. The first few levels of the game are all about teaching you the home keys and learning the positions of the buttons on the keyboard as though you're using them. But I just have to ask if anybody watching actually types this way, because I certainly don't. My fingers just hover above the keyboard in a very general way and find the keys they need to go to without really thinking about it. I was always horrible at the home keys method growing up and I'm still not that great at them, but I still type pretty fast, so I don't think it matters. After completing those levels, we're introduced to another new character, and his name is Quentin Wordy, which is the worst name ever. And his main goal in life is to study all of the rarest Pokemon in the world by just typing their name. And he needs our help to do it because he can't type. <laughs> he doesn't know how to type. That's a wrong, is not the career for you, dude. As I got further and further into the game, the Pokemon names got a bit more complicated and occasionally a boss Pokemon would show up. And keeping up with the theme of being ridiculously over the top for a game about typing, here's what the boss music sounds like. I think the weirdest thing about this game though is its world. I mean, besides the narrator that shouts everything. And speedy. Their map is laid out like a keyboard and everything in it is named after the keys on a keyboard. Some examples include E Tall Forest, L Dark Path, and my personal favorite, Sunset Forward Slash Way. It just rolls off the tongue. Now I know this video is a little short, but that's because the game is two hours long and you're doing one thing the entire time. So cut me some slack, okay? I've also come to the shocking conclusion that this game is not intended for me or anyone over the age of six. Unlike Mario Teaches Typing or Mavis Beacon, Pokemon Typing Adventure doesn't teach you real words or have you practice with any sentences. You're just typing names of Pokemon and it was admittedly Admittedly fun for like five minutes towards the end when they finally stop trying to teach me things and just let me type really fast. But it's not a good tool for learning and I'm positive that's what it was trying to be. 
Hello again! Today's episode of I Hope This YouTube Thing Doesn't Collapse Because It's My Job and I Can't Afford to Lose It is sponsored by Crunchyroll. Kawaii Desuka. Not only does their name make me hungry for some Crunchyrolls of my own, but also hungry for some high quality anime streaming. Crunchyroll offers the largest selection of anime classics and current favorites straight from Japan. And with this special link, crunchyroll.com slash Jimmy, you can get your very own free 30 day trial Thanks to Crunchyroll for being great. Holy crap, guys, they have Zatch Bell. <laughs> I crawled out of that hole so many years ago, and I just fell back in, and it's pretty great. It's pretty good. Fall back in with me. It's free. A 30-day free trial with Crunchyroll.com slash Jimmy. Cool. Thanks.